Greetings everyone and thank you for joining us for this week's edition of GTV. I'm Don Valiant and this is the news from Kyungi Province this week. The growing and tending of plants is believed to help prevent and even cure mild cases of dementia. This has inspired the launch of the Mild Dementia Recovery Experiential Program by the Kyungi Agricultural Research and Extension Services and the Kyungi Regional Dementia Center. This year, the program will operate 200 experiential courses for 2,000 patients at 92 participating farms throughout the province. In addition to horticultural activities, these courses also include a variety of farm-specific activities such as decorating cars with flowers and creating traditional furniture. To promote consumption, Kyungi Province has initiated a second local currency bonus with benefits that are potentially greater than those of the first round. Those who charge their Kyungi local currency cards with 200,000 Korean won stand to receive an additional bonus of 70,000 Korean won, 20,000 Korean won immediately and another 50,000 Korean won upon exhaustion of the original 200,000 Korean won. Additionally, first-time local currency users will receive the entire bonus of 70,000 Korean won even if they do not exhaust the original 200,000 Korean won. Kyungi Province announced the launch of the Future Technology School to foster future technology experts. To this end, the province signed an agreement with the Kyungi Province Employment Foundation, the Kyungi Business and Science Accelerator, and nine ICT enterprises last week. This program aims to cultivate experts through customized education and training programs that fulfill the requirements of technology enterprises. Kyungi Province has been endeavoring to reduce abandoned animal numbers through the provision of pet registration cost support and pet owner education. In addition, the province's Assistance Dog Sharing Center and its Pet Adoption Center offer adoption and neutering services so as to avoid euthanizing abandoned animals. As a result, the number of animals abandoned last year fell by 1,000 compared to the previous year. During the finals of the 14th New Kyungi Game Auditions, a Kyungi Province game developer competition that took place on May 26, five teams out of 39 won prizes. A total of 150 million Korean won was awarded in the form of game development support, with 50 million Korean won going to the first place winner, 30 million Korean won going to second place finishers, and 20 million Korean won to third place finishers. The winners are also entitled to extra evaluation points when they apply for residence at the Kyungi Global Game Center, as well as follow-up services, including game testing, translation, and marketing. On June 2nd, a public forum on basic financing and basic financial rights was held by Kyungi Province. The opinions that prevailed during the forum were to the effect that government authorities must establish a statutory foundation and policies to guarantee the basic financial rights of people. Kyungi Province will reflect the opinions offered during the forum in its basic financing policy-making processes, while continuously working to encourage the National Assembly and central government to institutionalize basic financing policies on a national basis. On June 1st, Yangpyeong County and Gunpo City won the top prizes in the new Kyungi Policy Contest, in which local governments competed for special adjustment subsidies totaling 60 billion Korean won. Yangpyeong County won 10 billion Korean won in the large project category for its forest leisure and sports resort development project that utilizes closed public facilities, including discontinued rail lines and a quarry, while Gunpo City won 6 billion Korean won in the general project category for its residential environment improvement project for distribution bases and industrial complexes. Thank you for joining us for this week's edition of GTV. We look forward to seeing you again next week.